if you have lost ownership of your profile your google business profile and you are not able to access it somehow in this video i'll be sharing a complete step by step process how you can gain back the access of your google business profile that is ownership transfer and guys if you are selling your business to someone and you want to transfer the ownership so this video is for you it will help you in all the steps you can actually do and possibly guys you created a profile by your gmail id and you want to transfer it to the actual owner of the business then also it will be helpful to you guys so there can be many reasons for ownership transfer that we'll be discussing in this video guys but guys once you have the ownership of your google business profile you need to grow it and to grow it either you can run google ads or guys you can take services of someone to rank your profile organically which is a more trusted way and better way to get a stable uh, business from your google business profile and less expensive too we also provide digital marketing services of local seo to rank your business you can contact our number and get those services apart from that guys we have an app named gbpgm app which will help you rank and manage your google business profile with very cost effective packages guys it's really really cost effective and you can do that without getting any specialized services if you don't have that budget guys it will help you maintain your profile do all those things like auto review reply and review suggestions for review growth and so many other things if you don't have a website it will help you get a website you can even run google ads via that without needing any specialist help because it can be handled via its ai option guys other than that guys this app has a web version also on local seo tools and tips.com as you can see now guys and we are also providing lot of informative articles on this website other than the web version of this tool gbpgm guys so you can access all this information which will really help you a lot to grow your google business profile at higher ranking now let's dive into my computer screen and see what are the ownership related issues and how you can handle them all step by step so guys as you can see on my screen i have just created a slide for you so that you can easily remember all these points you can note down these points from this slide or access this slide as well guys so guys first we need to discuss why ownership transfer guys so it may happen that someone created your profile and he is intentionally not giving you the ownership access guys because till you don't have the primary ownership of your google business profile you don't have the ownership because there are three modes primary owner owner and manager if you have a partner you can give access as multiple owners or managers as well but primary owner is only one guys if you have got a profile created from someone and it has not given you that ownership of that particular profile or given that email id access fully to you you don't have complete access of it they can even make you owner or just a manager and it will be really problematic for you in future because a primary owner can always control your profile remove you as well guys from the profile so i'll show you all uh, through a complete uh, web uh, step by step how to you can uh, check uh, whether you are owner or you are manager or you are a primary owner that i'll tell you everything and even how you can actually get it or change it guys with each and every step another way is that someone created your profile and you don't know about it maybe your family or friend or your staff created it when you are planning to create a profile you got to know that you already have a profile whether the same name but google won't allow you to create a duplicate one so you cannot create a new one guys you have to get the access of that profile guys third option is you need to transfer ownership when you are selling the business to someone or you created the profile by yourself you do this work and you want to transfer it to the actual owner 
So everything we'll discuss here step by step how it happens and what are the processes. So let's first check this slide guys the points I have covered then I'll take you to the web version and share everything step by step. So guys you need to have a proper address proof with you if you are doing this ownership transfer thing because if possible there is some issue and you need to take help of Google they'll need a proof from you that you are the real owner of that profile. So these things work which I have shown in the slide as you can see these are provided by Google guys in which you can actually use some government ID you need to have some registered entities document mentioning your business name the same address as an ownership proof guys other things won't work if you are from India guys you can always create an MSME document how to create that complete video and the link of that website a government website is mentioned in the text area of this video you can refer that guys now guys you have to log in with the Gmail ID you want to take ownership access on because when you don't have ownership guys at all then you need a fresh Gmail ID your own Gmail ID you can create a new Gmail ID by your business name that Gmail ID you need to take access of that particular business profile I'll tell you I'll start from that case when you don't have ownership at all you don't have owner access you don't have manager access nothing guys and you want that access you have already discovered your profile on web just you need to get that access so you need to log in with some Gmail ID then you have to open that profile in that particular browser which you have found out is of your business and is live on Google. Now guys you there is an option uh, I own this business you have to click that and proceed. Now Google will uh, actually send a request to the existing owners primary owners email ID and if they refuse then you won't be able to get that access as of now guys if they don't check that email and they don't respond neither they refuse nor accept then also you will get the access in the days as mentioned by Google in your message it can be from three days to five days max seven days guys you have to wait right guys so once this is done and you have the access now you have to undergo with a video verification so I've already told you to be ready with everything like your signboard, your business place and everything intact guys. You can take photographs of all. You have to in fact take photographs of all once you get this access before video verification and add those photographs in the profile. Check your profile that everything is intact. That particular person has not changed anything which is not related to your business, your website and everything. Even check the same address is there as on the website. Website address is mentioned. Number is mentioned check everything description and everything because you can do that if it is asking for video verification because you've already got the access it's just need to verify that you are the real owner finally guys now you have to proceed with the video verification as it asks guys it will be a live it can be a recorded one but you have to start showing from your entrance your signboard your product services equipments your visiting cards brochures whatever you have related to your business everything you have to show proper signboard should be there you have to show all those things and once the video verification is complete you will get a complete access of it now we'll see what to do next if you are rejected with this particular appeal guys and you are not asked for video verification instead the existing person who owns the who has the ownership rights of that profile has refused it right we'll see everything step by step i'll share everything with you as mentioned in the slide guys what you have to do in both the cases like for example guys this is my gmail id i'm already logged in now what i'll do is i'll open that profile which i have found on google is mine profile so when you open that profile and you discover it then you can just copy the link of that particular profile these arrow signs you find here you'll click on that profile whether you have access or not you can just get the map location of it like I have received as showing in the browser and you have to click on it guys either guys you can just search that profile by the profile name as I am doing it now guys.
like this is a profile open now i don't have access of this profile as you can see but i know this is my profile just for example now you can see own your business option here you have to just click this own your business option guys i won't be doing it for real guys because this is not my profile but i'll just show you guys now it will show you the email id of that particular person just two alphabets of the initials of the email id you can click on request access now it will ask you what kind of access level you want you will select ownership access as it's not available because it's already with someone you have to select the management access relationship you will select owner your name your number and tick on this and you have to submit guys i'll just do it for you just to show you although i don't want to do this as this profile which i am sharing is profile of one of our clients so it won't be an issue because i'm just showing it so you can see request sent and it's showing by 5th january you may be able to gain access if the particular person doesn't refuse right guys if the person doesn't refuse you may be able to get the access of this now i'll show you guys the email received that that particular person how does it look like this is the email that has been received right if that particular person doesn't respond click on this respond at all then you will get the access if he clicks on this respond and it will ask to accept or reject like it's asking here as you can see it will select do not approve and reason for rejection then you won't get you will get a message or add as a manager you will be added as a manager guys later on with video verification you will get the ownership as well guys i have shown you everything now guys i will show you how actually if you are having manager access or some other access how you can check that so we'll close this window guys i'll just again open our own profile infotox because i already have the access of that profile on this gmail id what i'll do is guys i'll just tell you how you can check what kind of access you have click on these three dots click on business profile settings this is after you log in to whatever access you are having just to check click on people and access here guys this is primary owner you can see another is manager all our manager you can also actually have an owner option i'll click on this and show you you can have owner option so guys if you have manager option you cannot do anything but if you have owner option you can always click this primary owner option and switch it right guys then you will be the primary owner and the other person will be other email id will be a secondary owner which you can always remove but if you are having a manager access then you cannot do anything guys in that you can only ask that primary owner to give you access if he denies then again guys the process as i told you you have to follow this you have to click on i uh, own this business option as i told you uh, earlier just we discussed it with sd4 wheels profile so you have to go with that process you have to follow that process guys and if it's refused guys in the last case what you have to do i'll tell you guys click on these three dots go to help and support simple now just scroll down and click on contact us if your profile is rejected guys then you won't be able to actually select any if your appeal is rejected you won't be able to select any profile so what you can do is you can create a profile even if it's not verified and select it then you can tell google what help you need from google like i'll say ownership issue
you have to select transfer of ownership listing next step next step next step then you will get this email option now guys you have to tell your name relation to business with the business email id contact number business name business address url of the business app as we have already discussed how to get that your business website describe your issue then describe the issue that you attempted for ownership from that particular person you have all the business proofs you can go for video verification everything for that profile but that person is not actually giving you that access this you can do when you have manager access at least guys you need to have manager access guys if you don't have manager access as well still you can try contacting google and telling them everything transparently because if you are real owner you have that store you have those sign boards address proofs you can undergo video verification you have registered documents from government then definitely google will give you that access it may take some time but you can get it for sure so guys this is how you can actually gain ownership access easily by following all the rules and processes guys so if you face any difficulty in getting ownership and you are the real owner you can prove it guys and you are not able to do with whatever i have told you you can always contact us and take our services we provide services with very nominal charges which our expert team handles very well guys once you get the ownership then do try gpgm app don't forget to use gpgm app to grow your rankings and also its web version on local seo tools and tips.com and guys how can i forget about that local seo tips as i told you earlier do visit that and start learning a lot from those articles guys and if you have not subscribed to this channel till now please subscribe it now because i'll be sharing lots of informative video for your business growth online on this channel so guys i'll be back with some new video till then start making activities on your google business profile you can use gpgm app free version as well and grow your business grow your leads calls and take your business to the next level